One thing we do know for sure, the vehicle they were traveling in, a 15-passenger van, has been the source of many safety concerns in the past. Our Contact 5 investigators have been digging into that angle of the story. Let's go to Katie Legrone with what she's found today. Katie? That's right, Kelly. Crashes involving passenger vans are not new. In fact, Florida leads the nation in crashes involving these 15 passenger vans. It's a problem we spent the day digging into. This video on YouTube shows inside a 2000 Dodge Ram Van 3500, the same year, make and model as the van that crashed this morning, killing eight churchgoers on board. Equipped with four rows of seating, these 15 passenger vans have fueled more than a decade of debate and scrutiny because of its history of problems. In 2001, the Fed started issuing warnings that the vans can be difficult to control in emergencies and lack adequate passenger protection. Why they're still on the road is, uh, is still beyond me. Sean Kane heads a nationwide research firm that analyzes consumer injuries. The seatbelts frequently don't function properly. They're hard to use, and the geometry is very poor. So even if you're wearing them, we've seen we've seen where consumers get ejected literally out of the vehicle, even though they're wearing a seatbelt. He's reported on the dangers of 15 passenger vans and the government's concern about its risk of rolling over. These vehicles become inherently unstable, particularly when they're fully loaded. So don't use more than don't use them with more than 10 people in the vehicle. Yet they were sold and marketed as a 15 passenger vehicle. This morning, there were 18 churchgoers in this van, and while the circumstances surrounding this crash remain under investigation, these pictures will become the latest example to a concern the government and safety advocates have been sounding the alarm over for years. Is there a cost-effective alternative to a bus for many of these organizations? And, you know, that's uh, the unfortunate reality is, you know, you got to move a lot of people. Here's an inexpensive way to do it, but it comes at a cost. Interesting side note here, public schools here in our state are not allowed to use 15 passenger vans to transport students since they don't meet the current guidelines for student travel.